Okay, we're going to go over the next six letters in the Arabic language, and first we're going to review everything that we've learned so far. So the first letter we learned was Alif, Ba, Ta, Ba, Jim, Ha, Kha, Dal, Dal, Ra, Zay, Sin, Sheen, Saad, and Dod. Now, all the letters that we're going to learn today are actually really hard to pronounce. Um, so be prepared. The first one is called Ba. It looks like that. This is what we're right with that. Ba. Um, this is another letter where you have to pucker your mouth. Um, it's pronounced from the same part where a T is pronounced, but it's Ba, not Ta. It's Ba. So if you're going to put this in a word, at the beginning it looks like this. In the middle it looks like this. At the end it looks like this. Um, the next letter, that it's the Ta's sister, is Va. So this is not the Val. This letter is pronounced with the tongue outside of the teeth and the mouth also puckered a little bit. So instead of the, it's the, 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 the. And it's written the same way as the thaw. It has just uh, the dot above it. So the, 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 um, if that was a word. Um, it's actually one of the least common, I think it is the least common uh, letter in the Arabic language, so you don't have to worry about it a lot, but it does come up. Um, when people are speaking really fast, it's very hard to discern whether they're saying the or the sometimes, but when reading Quran and reading old poetry, most people like to overpronounce it. Uh, the next group is the fun letter in the Arabic language is the Ain. And remember how when people would write the Ha with English letters, they would use a 7? People, you can guess what they use when they write it in English here, they actually use a 3. So this is actually the hardest letter, the hardest time I had uh, in Arabic was pronouncing the Ain. It is in the throat, but it's a consonant, it's not a vowel. So if you were to write, for just future reference, um, if you were to write that, that'd be a. Ah. So it's like the ain, and then an a comes after it. Um, you might not understand this in this video, but you might want to come back to it later. Um, this would be uh, arlu. And this would be uh, ri. So it's not like a vowel, but it sounds like it to us. So actually, the word um, Arab, which is like the Arabic language, um, is actually it uses an ein. So al Arabiya. This is actually how you say Arabic. Al A Ra B Yeah. So this is like an A L Rain Ra B uh, is like a Y 
and this is like an H. So people who speak English actually have a really tro a really hard time pronouncing this letter. So when we say uh, Arab, we just say Arab. We just take it out entirely. Um, so this letter does take a lot of practice. And you have to constrict your throat muscles uh, to really pronounce it. If you put your hand on your Adam's apple, um, you can actually feel it vibrating when you say ah. Um, if what's interesting is because it's a consonant, um, see if you write if you put an alif and you were to write just you put a b right. So that's like abba, abba. Now this becomes difficult pronouncing with the ayn. So this is like a normal a. So you don't say the ayn. So a, a, and then you close with the ayn. So that'd be a, a. It's very difficult to pronounce. Um, so if an a comes before it or a vowel comes before it, you just have to close your mouth. You have to stop the sound coming out of your mouth while pronouncing the ayn. It's definitely the most difficult, by far, letter to pronounce in the Arabic language, you know, uh, by my experience. It takes a lot of practice, and um, but you will get used to it. Um, some people go a bit overboard and they start putting ayn on everything. Um, it is a very, very common letter in the Arabic language. Um, it's all over the place. Like, uh, a common word, ayn... Uh, Aziz, all these words have the ayn in them. Uh, like the word, like Muhammad Ali, uh, his name is actually Muhammad uh, Ali. So this would, it's actually like saying that. Instead of Ali, it's Ali. So it's. Uh, sister, the sister of the Ayn is easier to pronounce, um, but this is also a really fun one. Let me open up a new layer. So the Ayn is like this, and its sister is the Ghain. And I said all of the letters that we're going to talk about today, with one exception, is uh, difficult to pronounce. This is a GH sound. So it's Gh. It's not the same as a ch, so it's not the same as a um, a ch. It is not this. The rain is the same sound that you make when you're gargling, and it's the same sound when you speak French. If you say uh, bonjour, it's this sound. It's not as um, Pronounced exactly the same as it is in French. It's not an R sound, but it's you gargle at the same time when you say it. Um, so rain. It also teaches you guys how to write these. Um, if it's at the beginning of a word, it looks like this. If it's in the middle, it looks like this. And at the end, it looks like that. And if you want to make it a rain, you just put the dot. So ra ra ra. Um, this is one that will take some getting used to uh, when you start pronouncing. Um, if you actually want to spell the word rain, uh, we haven't learned these other two letters yet. Um, so this is like a GH, this is like a Y, this is an N. So rain. So, those are very difficult. This is actually the easiest one that we're going to go over today, um, is the letter F. Actually, it's a bit more. People usually write it a bit flatter. F. This is the exact same sound in English as the F. So, finger, fun, all that is the same as F. Um, it's pretty common in Arabic. Um, its sister is written a little bit differently. It's written a bit rounder. So instead of it being flat like this, it's going to be round. And it's going to have two dots above it, usually. Some places in the Arab world write it differently. They'll actually put a dot under it. Um, but this 
but 99% of the time you're going to see two dots above. And this is called the cloth. And we're not done yet. This is the last uh, difficult uh, letter to pronounce in Arabic that we're going to go over, or that we have left actually. This is the cloth. So, um, this is an interesting sound. It's not a K. You actually constrict your throat muscles and then you eject air out right after. It's very difficult to do. I really can't describe it. You just pick it up after a while. Um, so it's going to be like claw, claw, claw. It's a very weird sound, but you get used to it after a while. There's actually an Arabic name, a very old Arabic name, uh, claw, claw. I think it's spelled like this. Uh, you know, I don't know. Claw, claw, come get your dinner. But that's how you write it. Um, so if you were to write these uh, two letters in a word, it would just look like that at the beginning, this in the middle, and this at the end. This would be fa, fa, fa. And for, for the cloth, same thing, but at the end it's going to be a bit rounder. Now if you notice something is that the fa in the middle looks a lot like the rain in the middle. See there's a rain and then a fa. It's sometimes hard to tell, especially in handwriting. Uh, which one they want. The rain is usually more angular and sometimes people fill it in in the middle so it's solid. So this is actually the rain and this is the fa. The fa no one ever fills in the middle and they both have one dot so you just have to know what you're saying and be able to read the font. It's sometimes difficult with people's handwriting but usually the rain, the, it's just generally more angular than the fa. The fa is totally round. <laughs> So let's go over all the letters we learned so far. We're getting close to the end. Uh, we started with Aleph. You guys should know these by now. Ba, Ta, Tha, Jim, Ha, Kha, Dal, Dal, Ra, Zay, Sin, Shin, Sod, Dod, and then we started today with Ta, Va. And then our favorite, uh, Rain, Rain, Fa, and Cloth. Okay, that concludes this lesson.